Welcome back to Coding Jazz YouTube channel. Myself, Rajat Rawat. In this video, we'll be talking about what to choose between app development and web development. First of all, I want to talk about in web development, you are basically making your websites, basically like websites you make for the internet, like you have seen the Amazon website and you have seen Coding Ninja website. There are various elements in website, like the front page, how it is designed, the back end, how basically the data is storing, and all of these comes under the website. So the technologies which require in the web development is basically like your for front end it require HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and for the back end it require Django as well as MongoDB, or you can take any website. And in order to make the more interactive websites, like more UI wise, to make more interactive, you need to learn or make the use of Bootstrap or React uh, JS, right, or Angular JS for the frameworks like. So these are basically required for the web development. And for the app development, you are basically making the applications like you know their application of the Amazon, Zomato, Swiggy, and all of these, right? So you make the application, and in order to make the application, there will be two platforms you can make. One you can make for the Android applications, or other you can make for iOS applications for the iPhones and all. So these things which you require, and the technology which you require for these is basically like you need to you can either use Java, Kotlin, or React Native for the frameworks and all of these. So those are the technology required. Now, one important thing which I want to make you note is the entry barrier, which is basically you know to learn these technologies, you what you require. So to make the web development, even if you have an i3 processor and a 4 GB RAM, you can easily make uh, the web development out of it. But if you want to make app development, then you require Android Studio in order to write the code and the emulators who have to see how your application appears in the phone. So you you can see that in the computer only. So for these softwares, you require a large amount of uh, RAM and uh, heavy weighted systems, basically good compatibility like the 8GB RAM and uh, i5 processor. So that's basically one drawback, which I can say, but that uh, you, you require powerful system in order to learn the Android uh, Studio and all Android uh, application development. Coming to the uh, placements and the salaries, so web development has an enormous number of jobs in the market compared to the app development. So since there are enormous number of jobs, so the package will be less compared to that of the app development and the app development will have high package compared to that of the web development. And coming to resources to learn, the web development has a huge number of resources to learn. You can easily learn. There are many resources in the internet, although web development and the app development has a little bit less resources to learn. So those are the main differences which I want to share with you, which to learn now from my point of view, if you want to learn, you can uh, first learn both of these and then you can choose what to pursue as, a, as your passion or career. Now, if you want to start with, then you can start with the web development because it is easy to make and you can easily make projects out of it. For example, if you want to make the project quickly, you want to show it in the resume, then first start with the web development so that you can easily make the projects and then start with app development to learn. And in the end, choose whatever you like. So that's all about this video. If you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment sections. That's it about this video. Thank you and have a nice day. Hi there. Before we proceed further in the video, I would like to inform you that Coding Ninjas has come up with a scholarship test called CNSAT. If you participate in this test, you can avail up to 100% scholarship on any course at Coding Ninjas. It can be DSA, web development, product company interview preparation, and even data science and many more courses. So if you want to participate, click on the link in the description below or the pinned comment and participate now. Happy learning guys.